For the first time in history, we have technology that can completely immerse us in a digital environment. So what happens when we use that same technology to completely immerse us in the edits? Every filmmaker is wondering the same thing. Is the Apple Vision Pro amazing for editing? Or is it meh? Today we're gonna find out. Let's go. Before we do that, my name is Josh Goovy. If you don't know me already, I'm a travel filmmaker who's obsessed with adventure and telling stories. And you can find my socials below if you're interested. So let's dive into this. Let's see if editing is going to be efficient on here, if editing can be fast, if this immersiveness is actually going to transform into being more involved in the video that you're working on. And let's find out if moving files around, getting stock footage and things like music or sound effects into your timeline is practical using this thing. There's two really main ways to edit on this thing right now. One of those ways is using DaVinci Resolve inside of the Apple Vision Pro. And the other way is connecting the Apple Vision Pro to your computer and then using your computer screen within the Apple Vision Pro. These are two very different styles and very different methods. And today we're actually gonna dive into both and talk about which is better and which is worse. And I don't actually know right now, but I'm really excited to find out. This could transform everything about our industry. Let's dive in. All right guys, so diving into the Vision Pro interface here, let's first talk about editing solely on the device. Currently, there's only one application you can do this with, and that is DaVinci Resolve. This app is actually designed for iPad, so it isn't necessarily designed to be used specifically with the Vision Pro, but it does work. And what's cool here is I really get to set up my own ideal office. If I want to be somewhere else, I can be just by turning this dial. Next up, I'll position Resolve wherever feels comfortable for me, and now it's time to grab some footage, music, and sound effects to throw in this timeline. So to do that, we're going to fly over to Artlist and download some footage. I'll pop into Safari, and we can start browsing. This part of the experience is stellar. As you can see, I can scroll through the app seamlessly and grab whatever stands out to me. Being able to be fully immersed in this process makes it feel a lot easier to focus on finding what I want. Nonetheless, this clip looks great, so I'll go ahead and download it. Perfect. Now, while that's downloading, let's take a look at finding some music and sound effects to suit the video. Here we have another setup. Bouncing between windows on the Vision Pro feels a lot more fluid than on a computer, so for things like downloading assets or sorting footage, it works great. All right, so once all those files are downloaded, we can slide back over to Resolve and open the files. So let's get everything imported here. What's really cool about the Vision Pro is it's actually tracking my eyes, meaning I don't have to reach out and press things, although I could if I wanted to. I can simply look at something, press my fingers together, and then drag and drop it into the timeline. But another cool way to do this too is to actually grab Resolve, slide it right up next to us here, and use it like a touch screen. Now I can do the same thing, drag and drop. It's a similar process, but I can actually do it with my hands. There's a lot of cool parts of this interface that having this level of interaction with adds to the experience. For example, color grading. The gestures through the Vision Pro, whether using your eyes or being hands-on, gives you the ability to be up close and personal with the controls. Being able to dive into the color wheels and actually fine tune those things with your fingers definitely makes you feel more connected with what you're actually doing. So that is honestly nothing short of incredible. That being said, there are some bugs in this process. Currently using the iPad app, it's pretty fun to use, um, but it's not always a super smooth user experience. I had a hard time like pulling clips into the actual project sometimes. In terms of editing solely on the Vision Pro, I probably wouldn't use it for that yet, just because using the iPad app, it doesn't feel perfect yet. It, it's almost there. As soon as there's a native app for this thing, it's going to be insane. So would I use it? Will I use it for that? Yes. Uh, but I'm really anticipating the release of an app that's like driven and, and designed for this. And that's what I'm excited to see. In terms of finding footage, music, and like scrolling through something like Artlist, it's super immersive. The audio on the Vision Pro is incredible. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can kind of throw some headphones on top of that, connect them to Bluetooth, like AirPods. That whole piece of the pie feels A1. But before we get all hot and bothered about this, the ultimate game changer could be combining this with our laptop. We can actually embed our laptop screen into the Vision Pro, and I've heard that this process is amazing. But before we dive into that, guys, if this has been helpful for you at all, if this is something that is interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Artlist posts tons of videos for creators that are aimed for helping you guide you through this process, find out what's good, find out what's bad, and ultimately win at all of this, all right? So diving in, connecting your MacBook is incredibly easy. Throw on your Vision Pro, look at your MacBook, and press connect. Then your entire desktop appears in the Vision Pro space. Now, while you don't have touch controls currently, you can use a wireless mouse and keyboard if you want mobility, or just have your laptop beside you like I do here. Through external apps, you can actually add monitors and extend your display so you can build out the perfect office in the Vision Pro space. 
This is genuinely really cool. And what's great is that it's practical right now. Ever since I got the Vision Pro, this is actually how I started editing my videos now. You can be more immersed in the experience. I find myself more focused and it's also like being able to edit in a movie theater whenever you want. It's stellar. And what's cool is that it means that the Vision Pro is practical right now. You don't have to wait for the right apps to come out. You don't have to wait for the updates. Right now, you can have a more efficient editing process using this thing. And in the future, it's only going to get better. Bam. So guys, in summary, it's a pretty amazing process. And like I said, the InVision Pro experience is not perfect yet. It's getting there. I'm excited for it to be there. But the combination of these two, Vision Pro and laptop, is actually something super sweet. And I think the biggest thing to say about this is the browsing experience. I, I was actually blown away by the browsing experience and this made something like going through Artlist, looking through my songs, it was more immersive. I felt like I could find stuff faster because I was enjoying being there. And that, that's pretty amazing. Another incredible use for this that I noticed during this time was tutorials. I can look at a tutorial here, have YouTube up, and I can be editing right here. So I can pop in and out, in and out. That's an incredible thing. Scrolling through Artlist is an incredible thing. And of course, editing is incredible. But guys, that covers everything. I hope that this was helpful for you. And I hope that if you do get the chance to use one of these, you get a chance to try editing with it. But nonetheless, I will see you on the next one. Peace.